Good morning, everybody. Silas here today. I don't know what all we're going to get into, so you're going to ride along with me and we'll find out and you can kind of see what a typical week goes like for me. Who knows how things are actually going to work out because things are always changing out here and you got to roll with the punches. I'll try to explain some things, but a lot of stuff, you're just going to have to figure it out as we go what's going on. So with that being said, let's get to it. Well, we are making progress. My goal is, is I want to widen this road up a little bit. And so we're slowly doing it. I want to get rid of these three cars here, this car here, those two cars right there. That Jeep is actually sold. I got to take it out to the other yard until he can come pick it up. And then over here, I want to get rid of the Blazer, these two Buicks, and this little Cougar. And that'll open this up quite a bit to where I can actually get through here. And actually, I think I want to go ahead and focus on working on this pile here and try to crush out a bunch of this pile, give me a bunch of extra room in here. I'm working on crushing this row out too. Now this row isn't as much in the way, so I probably won't get in a big hurry on this. But I was looking at this Camaro up on top, and I know it's a newer car, and it's mostly plastic, but you know, not everybody can afford the old noses off the old vehicles that I cut up, so I think something like that, I'm gonna go ahead and take that out and cut the nose off of it and set it back, and I think eventually it'll sell. But like I say, none of these cars are in the way, so we're gonna worry about that stack later. And this is reason 253 why I never get anything done like I want to get done. Is this guy didn't bother calling me or nothing. He just showed up with the car right at lunchtime. As I'm locking the gate, he drives up with it. So now I've got to get everything back out. And I told him, I said, look, either you can keep the car or I can pay you half price. It's up to you. So he opted for half price because he wants it off his trailer. So I guess I'll go ahead and get the loader back out. Well, he left the converter on it. So I went ahead and paid him full price on it. But we've been open by appointment only for a long time now, a very long time. And he knows that but oh well I guess you left the converter on it and so I just didn't pay any extra for that it'll all work out This old van here, when I found out he was wanting to sell it, and he didn't want to sell it for scrap, we bought all the scrap from his place, and so I thought, well, I'll make him an offer on it. So I made him an offer on it. He sold it. I just couldn't see passing up on it. 
such a clean van only rust in this thing is right here in front of the rear wheel little speck right there and then it's got a little bit of damage right here on this side looks like maybe it blew a tire off or something like that at some point in time through the tread kind of smacked the quarter panel but overall this is a very very solid van you open it up in here floors are rock solid original paint the dash is a little bit sun rotted typical for old plastic it's got seats in it all the way back the only thing I don't like about this van is they've put this window in it at some point in time and that kind of hurts it a little bit but if a guy really didn't like that you could always find another one of these vans take that window back out and put a patch panel back in it but I mean it's not that bad I would just leave the window if it was me but that's enough of this one we'll worry about it later I gotta get my chains gathered up get my truck ready to go make sure all my tires are good and I'm gonna hit the road for Medicine Lodge My dad decided to go, so I came out here to pick him up. He's putting the loader up now. we got to lock everything up. But uh, you guys haven't seen it out here for a while. Last time you saw it out here, that was solid car stacked back there. He's crushed quite a few loads. He ships out one to two loads a day in this trailer here. So he's been making quite a bit of progress out here. There's still some pretty good old cars back here scattered around. I mean, they're pretty rough, but lots of good art. Like here's the remnant of an old Dodge, it looks like, over here. Some good stuff on that still. There's a couple old Mercedes over there by that bus there's an old 57 ford car over there two-door sedan not much left on it but you know just lots of good art stuff one of these days i'll come out here and do a tour of this place with you guys and there it is Oh, <laughs> they use this one out in the field. Thornton Adobe Barn built 1942. It's pretty cool. Huh. Seen better days. Vandals always tearing stuff up. Can't respect anything, but is it open? It's open. What's it say in here? Oh wow, check this out. This barn is built out of sod bricks with adobe stucco over the top of them. That's pretty cool. Built out of mud. Mud dauber, or no, that's a swallow nest up there. There's a mud dauber nest right there. Huh. I can't imagine making bricks out of mud and slathering them plaster over them. Oh wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sketchy boards. Here's an example of what it looks like. Some 
check out that sunset. That's a neat old barn. Never would have saw that if it didn't come out of the old Dodge truck. Would have never known it even existed. That's pretty neat though. Look at that sunset with all the haze and dust in the air from all the wind. Coming up here, it was super, super windy. I was worried about going home, but the wind's died down now, so with this big old sail on the back of my trailer, it's not that big of a deal. And it is the end of the day. As you guys can see, today was a crazy day and I only filmed a fraction of what was going on today. It was pretty crazy. But I got these vehicles in here. Now this Jeep I've had for a while. It was stuffed full of junk. It came in for scrap a while back. And so I cleaned all the junk out of it. I have a guy wanting that, but it was in the way. So I just went ahead and brought it out here. I had it sitting on top of that bale of mattresses and evidently that's all that was holding it together because when I took that off, I came back a little bit later and that bale of mattresses was all over the place. So it exploded at some point. This car here, I haven't even looked at it yet. I don't know if there's a motor in it. I don't know anything about it.
Looks like it's pretty well complete. Looks like it's a rust bucket. Somebody's horribly patched the floors in it. A lot of good parts in the dash. Custom line. It's got lots of good chrome on it. Main reason I bought this car is, I mean, I know you guys hate this, but <laughs> I'm going to chop the nose off and chop the trunk off. I said that backwards as I'm showing the nose and the trunk. But there's a lot of good parts on this car too. So it'll help others to survive. Well, there's part of a motor in there, so nothing good there. But yeah, people ask me how I get so many cars. And the reason why I get so many cars is because this guy here said, I've got a 54 Ford. I want $500 for it. Here's one picture. And I got one picture of it, and I said, I'll take it. And that's kind of the key a lot of times is when somebody offers you a car, as long as the price is halfway reasonable, you just buy it. And so then you get the reputation of being the guy to sell your stuff to when you want to sell it. No tires kicked, no questions asked, just get it taken care of. Kind of funny what the deal on this car was is it was on a trailer. That trailer that I unloaded it off of and he wanted to buy the trailer but the guy wouldn't sell him the trailer unless he bought the car too. So he gave I think 400 for the car extra on top of the trailer. So he made 100 bucks but he had to haul it home over an hour away. So that worked out for him. This truck here I actually worked out the deal on this thing a long time ago and we just now got it worked out to where he could bring it in. This truck's pretty rough, but what's really cool about this one is I have the original 1950 title for this thing. Yeah, I can't even get that door to open. We'll go around to the other side. It's still got the motor in it. Don't know what size it is. I'll have to climb up there and scrape it off and see. But I want to check how rusty it is on the inside. It's got a GM bucket seat in it. The main place you want to check on these trucks is up in here, and actually, it's pretty solid up in there. So, yeah, now that I look at this truck, it's not nearly as rough as what I thought it was. It does have some rust in the cab corners. And then this panel on the other side is all beat in. But other than that, it looks pretty solid. And with the original title, I think I can probably find a home for this cabin front clip. That cabriolet that I unloaded, that uh, Volkswagen, that one's one that's been at the yard forever. You guys have probably seen that, and it was just in the way. I thought about just crushing it, but then I got to thinking, you know what, these, these old car noses, are just so expensive. I kind of mentioned, I, I think I already mentioned this, I don't know if it was this video earlier or it was a video the other day, but I think I'm gonna start cutting the noses off some of these newer cars just because they're much more affordable. It does have a lot of good parts on it too though, so I may try to sell it whole one time. It's not, well, it might be restorable, but the top's been bad forever. The interior is completely shot from getting rained and snowed on for years. I don't know that the whole car's worth saving, but I'll give it one chance. Here's another truck here. I bought this one based off of one picture. He said, I've got this truck. Will you give me XYZ price? And I said, you bet. So he brought it out. It's pretty rusty, but it is a big 10. Pretty well optioned out truck, Silverado. It's got the wide rally rims on it. Those used to be worth quite a bit of money. You can buy them brand new for pretty cheap now though. So used ones don't have a whole lot of value. But this truck here, I don't think anybody will want the whole thing, but it's got a lot of good parts on it. And then also, I'm thinking this one here would be a really cool one if a guy took and cut it right about here. And you can make a workbench or a table or something out of this. That'd make a really cool one with the Chevy tailgate and the two-tone paint and the Big Ten. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not sure what motor's in it. It's got a 350 logo on the grill, so that's probably what it is. But once again, I can slice the nose off of this one pretty cool with the license plate on it then after I do that there's lots of other miscellaneous pieces there's some trim pieces it's got all the chrome door panel and dash pieces in it so there's a lot of trinkets it's got a tilt column in it so a lot of good parts on this one I bought it for just over scrap price pretty much about $200 over scrap price so I couldn't turn it down and then the other car that came in this morning was that old uh, Rambler uh, Ambassador 990 and that car is optioned out. It's got AC in it. It's got the whole nine yards That one is actually one that my dad bought. I'm not sure what his plans are for it He'll probably sell it. It's actually not much rust in the car. It's a Western Kansas truck from way out by Colorado So very little rust on the car, but it is a four-door Rambler. So <laughs> it's not like it has a whole lot of value It does have a really cool trunk and a nose on it that we could chop off But uh, it's my dad's car. So I'll let him decide on that, but that's it for today It is beautiful out here right now there's a like a 50 50 chance of blowing rain and freezing rain tomorrow temperatures are supposed to be much much cooler 
cold front's supposed to come in tonight and then tomorrow is supposed to get colder as the day goes on. I shipped out one load of cars today. They're supposed to come get two more tomorrow and then I'll probably just keep crushing cars. I'm making pretty good progress and widening up the road. So uh, that's what I'm gonna keep working on for the time being. If the weather gets too bad, I'll have to call it quits, but it has to get pretty bad for me to call it quits. So that being said, I'll see you guys in the morning. getting this all cleaned up. Hopefully this afternoon, if I have enough time, I wanna go ahead and get rid of all of this over here to where this is completely cleaned out and I can start stacking all my bundles back here. That's what I used to do. I used to stack my bundles here and then actually I used to stack them over there where those semi-trailers are too. And that's actually where I would set them out to wrap them. And then I'd set them out here after they were wrapped. That way I could just grab them and load them on the flatbeds. But we don't really do that anymore. Just bought a couple signs. This here is off the South Hutch Diner. It's been a staple in this community for a long time, but they went out of business a while back and some other businesses have moved in and so they got rid of the old sign. Kind of a shame to crush that one. It's kind of neat. And then I got this big old board over here. That was a high dollar board when they bought it new, but they just don't last that long. So they replaced it, junked it out. Then this van came in for scrap. Check these out. It's got a set of beauty rings and hubcaps that'll fit on my old Dodge truck. If I decide to put them on there, I have a set already, but they're really beat up. These are in much better condition, so I'm for sure gonna pull those off before I crush the van. And then this area over here, I started cleaning on it. I got a bunch of stuff that was over here picked up, and then I moved that van and that car that was on top of it, and there's some more stuff underneath it. Uh, it's mostly just scrap. It looks like I gotta cut two converters off of these exhausts, or I guess three, there's another one here. And then this piece here is a makeshift log splitter that somebody started making and never finished, so I'll probably go ahead and keep that and see if I can put a cylinder or something on that and go ahead and finish it out because I kind of need one and those are very expensive to buy one. This old cougar here, I haven't decided if I'm just gonna crush it or if I'm gonna save it to cut the side off of it because it does have a side on it, which I know it's really rotted out in the quarter panel, but it's still kind of a neat side I could cut off. So I'll probably go ahead and hang on to it and take it out to my place and get it out of here. And then I can come up in here and I wanna clean all of this stuff out eventually as well. I wanna get rid of this truck here. I wanna just eventually, now this isn't a number one priority. My number one priority is to get across the way over there cleaned out. But eventually I wanna get all this cleaned out in this corner as well. That way I just have tons of room to operate. Make my life so much easier. And then I have this little dumpster here. I was gonna take it out to my place to get it out of the way. But I got to thinking, you know what? This is perfect for putting cars up on to pull the wheels off of them. Cause I can just go in here with the forks and sit right there, easy peasy. Then I can have them up in the air like that to pull the wheels off. That way if, if, I can find someone to help me they can come out here and I can just set the cars up like that they can pull the wheels off and I don't have to set the car down wait for them to pull the lug nuts pick the car back up wait for them to pull the wheels I can just go over here set it down and then I can go do something else while they pull the lug nuts so that's kind of a nifty little piece right there 
But yeah, we're making lots of progress. I've got my road pretty wide in there. I've got this road open all the way down. I got rid of that forklift down there. What I'm gonna try to do is every day when I leave for lunch and when I leave for the end of the day, I'm gonna load stuff like this up. And right now I have a Dodge Dakota on my trailer. Pretty much anything I'm keeping that I don't wanna crush, I'm gonna go ahead and load it up and take it out to my place. If I can take two a day, I can make pretty good progress on it. This Dakota is just junk, but some people are starting to use the chassis out of these. This is an older one, so it's got the five lug on it. And so a lot of people like these five lug Dakota chassis, kind of like the S10 chassis, and they can do stuff with them, put old trucks on them, whatnot. They're not worth a ton of money. Every now and then you'll find a serious buyer. Most people want to buy these chassis out of these and those S10s for like 200 bucks. And I mean, it's not even worth my time to think about it at that price range, but every now and then you find a serious buyer. So I like to keep a couple on hand. So I'm gonna run that out there. I just threw some stuff in the back of it. I have these old fans. They're kind of cool industrial look to them. So I didn't want to scrap those, so I'll take those out there. But as far as this afternoon goes, I don't know of a whole lot going on, so probably just a bunch more of cleaning up out here, crushing cars, and so far tomorrow, everything's still on, on track, so hopefully nobody backs out on me this time. Here to pick up this box fan and check out this old house that he's remodeling. That's pretty cool. It's an old, old house. Very old. And then this old building over here, I'm not sure what it was originally, but it was a tire shop for a long time. We used to come down here and I remember loading tires. We would sell the guy tires off of the junk cars. We would take him in that door right there. It's pretty dilapidated, but I think the guy's gonna remodel it all. Well, I got it. I had to crawl underneath it and break the transmission into neutral and the steering wheel wouldn't turn and it was locked, the wheels go in the other direction, and I finally got it to break for just a second, just long enough to get the wheels to go straight. So I got it on there. It's right on the edge of the trailer on the other side. Best I could do though, I got it. It's hanging off the side a little bit, but it's just right down the street from my place, so I'm gonna run it out there. It's gonna be a slow load, kind of butt heavy, but it'll be fine. And good morning, we are back out here again. It was quite the night. <laughs> All sorts of crazy stuff happened, then I ended up not being able to sleep, then I had to edit video, so I didn't get much sleep last night, just a few hours. What I'm carrying here is a box clear full of headlight rings. I actually have two boxes clear full of them. A subscriber tagged me on Instagram, there was somebody selling a bunch of these, over a hundred of them, about two bucks a piece. And so for that price, I can't turn them down. And so I bought all that he had, and uh, he shipped them to me, so I'm going to stash them in here. That way when I need them for these noses, I have them. And speaking of noses, they are not coming today. The uh, shipper backed out. They wanted to come next week, but I'm going to be gone next week. So we're trying to figure that one out still. I'm not sure what's going to happen. And that sun is bright. But uh, anyway, Terry's here, so we're going to get started on that. And we'll see what else we can get into.
And with that, we are done for the day. I am exhausted, but we got a lot done. Terry got here and he decided he didn't bring his big trailer and his big truck, so he decided he wanted to pick out a different load than what we had ready. So we ended up having to go ahead and rearrange some things and he decided he wanted to buy that one Chevy truck bed, but we got it all taken care of, got him loaded up. He's headed back to Kentucky. He's supposed to be back in a couple weeks with his actual big trailer and we'll load up some more of the stuff that we already have ready to go. Tomorrow, I've got a major auction I'm going to. I don't know what I'm gonna buy. I may not buy much, it's a long ways away, but definitely stay tuned for that video because it's gonna be awesome. There are so many cool old trucks there. And then who knows what else is coming up soon? I, I really don't know. You just never know what's gonna happen out here. As you can see in this video, stuff changes so fast, it's hard to predict. But with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.